Hello everyone, if you are a businessman or an entrepreneur who wants to create a customized dating app similar to Tinder, Bumble, Hinge, Badoo, OkCupid or Plenty of Fish, then you have come to the right video. In this video, we'll introduce you to our dating app platform which functions much like Tinder or a Tinder clone. We'll demonstrate how users can easily connect with others by swiping right on the profiles they're interested in, just like Tinder. Join us as we explore both the customer app and admin panel, unveiling how the magic of love comes together in the world of dating apps. Let's get started. The user is currently logged in the app and the user can view the recommended profile for dating. The user can swipe right if they're interested in someone's profile and they can swipe left if they're not interested. When we swipe right on this user profile, then this user will then get a request on their account. The other user whose profile just received a right swipe can view the received request in the request section. Here we can see there are two pending requests on this account. To accept the request, we can click on the heart button and to reject the request, click on the cross button. Once the user accepts the request, a match will be created. After this event, both the users will be able to chat with each other, which they can do by clicking on the start chatting button or else they can continue to search for more profiles by clicking keep swiping. These two users will only be able to chat with each other if they have subscribed for a VIP subscription plan. As both these users have enabled the VIP subscription plan, they can start chatting directly from here and send the text. Once a match is created, the admin can view that in all matches under the management section. This is how the dating app process works. We now move to the customer app where we will understand about the end-to-end -end functioning of the customer app. To access the features of the customer app, we first have to log in or sign up first. Once we have successfully logged into the app, the app starts showing profiles which might match with us on the basis of the information which we shared with the app while we created our own profile. If we like a profile, then send a connection request to the user of this profile. We can do a right swipe and then the app will send the request to this user. If we don't like a profile, we can simply do a left swipe and move on to the next profile. This app is currently customized to provide the users with the option to set filters using which we can set filters of maximum distance, age, height, preferred gender, sexuality and religion. The app is also customized to provide the option of international dating as well. If we click here, then we can access the matches we have with our profile and new requests sent to our profile. We can click here to view the messages which were sent to our profile by the profiles with which we were a match. When we click on this icon, we are able to access the profile section. We have the option to modify or update our profile by editing our personal information. We can also share more images for our profile. And there are also options to provide a detailed description of a personality to help the app's algorithm to search suitable profiles for us. At the top, if we click here, we are able to access settings. Within the settings, we can view the available subscription plans by clicking here. We have the option to check each plan and purchase the one which suits the best of our requirements. There is also the option of push notification which you can enable if you want to receive app notification like the way it is here or disable it if you don't want to receive notifications. You have the option to enhance app security by enabling this option which prompts you to create a passcode. This passcode will be required each time you open the app. There is the option to connect with the app admin or sales team via the contact us option. We can also update our password by the change password option. We can also view the list of blocked users if there are any by clicking the blocked users option. The last option available is the delete account feature, allowing users to completely remove their profiles from the dating app. This is all about the customer app. As specialists in app development, We've transformed startups into profitable ventures, leveraging our advanced AI capabilities, data encryption and blockchain architecture. We empower you to control your source code, 
ensuring security and innovation. With our expertise, we can create a Tinder clone app tailored to your needs, offering a seamless swiping and matching features that mimic the popular dating platform. If you are interested in creating your own dating app, simply click on the link provided in the description. You can schedule a free consultation and demo session with us today at a time that suits you best. Our team of experts will be happy to answer any questions you may have and provide you with a personalized demo tailored to your business needs. We move to the admin panel of our dating app. First, we have to log into the admin panel using the login credentials. In the admin panel, you will find different sections. All of these are there to help us to run our dating app smoothly. Let's begin with the dashboard. Our platform offers a comprehensive dashboard that enables real-time monitoring of every aspect. This includes tracking key metrics such as registered users, matches and live users. The dashboard also provides an analytical view of registered users by date, total users, total matches, subscription types and gender demographics. Now let's explore the management section, which is divided into seven subsections. We start with the user subsection. Here as the admin, we can find user details including their profile image, name, username, email, gender, phone number, subscription type and status whether the user is active or inactive. You can also filter user data by status and date range. After the user subsection, we have the profile photo review subsection. Here, as the admin, we can review the user's profile pictures, including their username, email, profile picture, and the status of the profile picture. Next, we will explore the gallery review subsection, where as the admin, we can review user uploads. Admins can view the user's gallery by their name, email, photo, and status and verify whether it's pending or active. Next, let's explore the dating tags subsection, where as the admin, we can view the tags they've added. This includes the ID, name, and the status of each tag, indicating whether it's blocked or active. Admins can easily edit or delete a tag using the corresponding buttons. To add a new tag, simply click on the Add Dating Tags button. Enter the tag and save it. The newly added tag will then be reflected in the list. After the dating tag subsection, we move to the all matches subsection, where we can view match details including the usernames of the user 1 and user 2, match date and status. Admins also have the ability to edit or delete any match directly from this section. Next. Let's explore the reported users subsection, where we can view details of the reported users. This includes the name of the person who made the report, the name of the reported user, and the status of the reported ID. Now let's explore the last subsection of the marketing section, which is the blocked user section. Here as the admin, we can view details of users who have been blocked, including the user who initiated the block, the blocked user's name, the date of the block, the status and any actions taken. After the management section, we'll now move on to the advertisement section, which comprises two subsections. The first subsection of the advertisement section is listing, whereas admin, we can view details of advertisements. This includes the serial number of the advertisement, its title, type, banner image, redirect URL, and the location where the advertisement is live. To create a new advertisement as the admin, we can simply click on the Create Advertisement button. Then provide the necessary details such as the title, advertisement type, which can either be banner or video, redirect URL, location, dating tags, preferences and upload the banner image for the ad. Once all details are entered, we can save the advertisement. Next, we move to Analytics which is the last subsection of advertisement. Here as admin, we can view an analytical view of the total views by date and total redirections on the app through advertisement by date. After the advertisement section, next is the messaging section, which consists of just one subsection. 
Mass Messaging The loan subsection in the messaging section is mass messaging, where administrators can send messages to users. These messages can cover a variety of topics such as subscription offers or other announcements. To send a message, we can select the message type, whether it's a push notification or an email. Select the audience, compose the message and then send it. After the messaging section, we move to the payment section which consists of just one subsection. The loan subsection in the payment section is transaction, whereas the admin, we can view the transaction details with username, subscription plan name, subscription type, amount of subscription plan and subscription plan created date. As the admin, we have the option to filter transactions based on their status. We can choose to view all transactions, only active transactions or only inactive transactions. After the payment section, we move on to the report section which consists of two subsections. In the reports section, the first subsection is dedicated to the user reports. Here as the admin, you can access detailed usage reports for users. These reports include information such as the user's profile picture, name, user ID, the number of sent requests, the number of declined requests, total matches and the count of both paid and unpaid matches. This comprehensive data allows you to gain insights into user behavior and engagement on the platform. Next, we have the subsection for app version, whereas the admin we can manage the latest versions of the app. Here we can update the latest Android version, Android link, Android build number, iOS version, iOS link, iOS build number, and enable and disable the bonk side feature. After the reports section, next comes the sub admin section. Under the sub admin section, the only subsection is listing. Here, as the admin, we can access details of sub administrators, including their profile images, name, email, phone number and status. We also have the authority to create new sub-admins and assign specific permissions to them. Additionally, we can also delete a sub-admins account. To add a new sub-admin, click on the Add Sub-admin button. Enter the required details such as the name, phone number, email, password and profile image. Then, select the permissions we wish to grant to the sub-administrator. Once done, Save the details and the new sub-admin will be added to the list. We now come to the CMS Pages section, which is the last section of the admin panel. We move to the Terms and Conditions, which is the first subsection of CMS Pages. Here as the admin, we can update the content for Terms and Conditions and the same will be shown on the web page and customer application. Privacy Policy Next is the subsection of Privacy Policy. Here, as the admin, we can update the privacy policy content and the same will be shown on the web page and customer application. This concludes our overview of the admin panel. With this, we have covered all the panels and functionalities of both the customer app and admin panel. If you want to create a dating app for your business, then we at CodeBoo Labs are here to help you. With over 3,000 satisfied clients worldwide, we're experts in custom software and app development. Contact us by clicking on the link given in the description. Fill up the form with your name, your email address, your contact number and a few details about your project along with the date and time slot when you will be able to attend a call. Click Submit which will take you to the next screen where you can select your project budget and your industry. After doing that, click Submit again. And now your query is registered with us. This way, you can easily schedule a free consultation and a personalized demo session with us at a time that suits you best. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button. This helps more people see our video on YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest videos. Thanks for watching this video to the end.